Hey everybody, welcome to the video. So we've got our Harbor Freight utility trailer here and we did a couple little upgrades. Maggie worked on it to kind of protect our wiring a little bit and we've got all of our wiring secured up. What we're gonna do with this trailer is turn it into a fuel trailer for our equipment. All right, so we've got this b -bore, I think is how it's pronounced, uh, diesel fuel container. And so it's a bulk storage container. It's 58 gallons. Here's where you fill it. It's got a fuel filter and a fuel pump. And it came with this self-stopping nozzle. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount this onto our Harbor Freight trailer. And what I can do then is put it behind the Jeep or the truck drive it to town and get my off-road diesel and then bring it back here and I can pull that trailer with my ATV to get it out to any of the tractors or the excavator or anything else that I've got going on. So let's see how this goes. So one of the things that's nice about this, it's got a fuel gauge right on it. So you don't have to put, pick it up and shake it like you do gas cans. And basically I was sick and tired of using five gallon cans to feed all this equipment I've got. Good morning, everybody. Now it's my turn to work on this trailer. So I'm gonna take this thing and I'm gonna put this marine plywood. I'm gonna cut it, double it up, then I'll put sides around this thing using these two by 12s. And then I'll separate the interior space using a couple of these two by sixes. Now that I've got all that done, it's all secured, and we are ready to put the sides on it. Okay, so now I just rip the sides down to fit and we'll put them in. And now I've got all the sides set in and we'll just put the braces on all of it and we'll be pretty close to done.
four foot box. Uh, wait, I think they're perfect. So about a 60-40 split. Yeah. That's the idea. With that there, then I can put braces around three sides of it, keep it up against here, and then build in a battery box and whatever else. Okay, yeah, because when that's full, it'll be about 400 pounds. Right? So yep. we've got a thousand pound limit. So between the wood and the tank, yeah. we're in good shape. When the wood dries, this this is pretty new and wet, so when it dries, it'll be a lot lighter too. So it won't be bad. Well, my part's done, and what I have made is just a space here to keep the weight 60% forward, 40% back, place to hold a battery box. Uh, with this extra space that we had here, I just made kind of a little toolbox area so that he can, it's, it's not theft proof or anything but it keeps stuff from blowing out when he's driving little handle 
and another little empty compartment and so there it is now rob can take back over and finish it up all righty so maggie's got our trailer uh modified to hold this fuel transfer tank and what we've got here is the vivor diesel fuel transfer tank it's 58 gallons capacity but they say to only fill it to 55 and i think that's just so it doesn't slosh out the vent so reading the reviews of this a lot of people said that when they got theirs it had a whole bunch of like plastic filings inside the tank and so i looked inside there and it looked pretty clean to me and then the other thing they complained about is a lot of these fittings uh would leak and they said basically tighten every fitting that's on here before you use it so that's what we're going to do now so here's inside the tank and i don't see anything in there no plastic filings no dirt debris anything like that and that was one of the things that it said on the reviews a lot of people said vacuum this out first but there's nothing in mine so i'm happy about that okay so along with the large fill va fill hole that it has fill cap uh, it has a it has a fill gauge so here's our 12 volt fuel pump and it has wires so I, you can just hook that to whatever battery you know like i said i'm going to pull this with an atv i can hook it to that but maggie put us a battery compartment right here also so i can have an onboard charger uh, she's got this compartment here that we can put i'll probably put like jumper cables and a couple of adjustable wrenches and i'm going to use these tie down straps to secure this when i'm driving with it I like to go fill it here's our hose and they said this is four mil four meters i think that's about 12 foot maybe just a little longer than that uh, but what i'm going to do now is basically i'm going to make sure all these fittings are tight so that we don't have any leaks on this when we go to use it so here's the auto shut off nozzle that came with it so pretty interesting uh surprised that this is not green but that's okay we know it's only for diesel you can't use gasoline in one of these totes they say okay so i'll make sure this fuel filter is tight and it wasn't so good thing i read the amazon reviews so that's tight now now I'll go ahead to and make sure this fitting and this elbow's tight, and then I will put in our hoses. And the reviews I read also said this is this O-ring is pretty chintzy and doesn't do a good job sealing, and they recommend replacing it if you have an O-ring this size, which I don't think I've got any. But they said also just throw some Teflon tape on there, so I'll do that. Seems pretty tight to me, and none of this actually seems loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hose in and get it secured. Okay, and by stretching that hose out, it allows you to spin it on there. So take a wrench now and tighten this up. So I've got Teflon tape and there is that O-ring. That looked like a hose thread to me. It's supposed to be a pipe thread that's tapered. So that may be a leak point, but we'll just have to find out. We've got Teflon tape on it and that O-ring is there. So yes, this is a not a tapered thread that would normally require Teflon tape. But like I said, some of the Amazon reviews said they had to put Teflon tape to get this to quit leaking. So I'll go ahead and throw it on there. Can't really hurt, so I'll take it. Okay, we'll screw our nozzle on. There we go. And it definitely does just seal against that fitting with that O-ring, so snug this down. You know, the funny thing is, obviously this is pipe thread. So they've got a pipe thread elbow with a straight thread. It looks like maybe hose thread, I'm not positive. But anyway, it's not pipe thread on this fitting, but we'll hope for the best. All we do is try it out and adapt if it doesn't work. So looks pretty clean though. So I'm gonna wind this cord up. We'll take this out and take it down and get some gas, actually some diesel, 
put in it and see how it works. And I'll be able to tow this with my Jeep or truck or any vehicle to get it to town to fill it up with the off-road diesel that we use normally in five gallon cans. And like I said, I only have four of those five gallon cans. So I've, I've been operating off 20 gallons of fuel buying at a time. Now I can go up to 50 gallons. And like I said, it's gonna be a whole lot easier, especially on that International 1086 where the fuel tank's so high. I'll be able to just uh, put this pump in it, this nozzle in it and fill her up. Okay, and actually I just found they have an indentation here for the nozzle, right? So you put that in there. Now the only thing with that is if the nozzle's there, the hose is not gonna to be totally inside. But I don't think that's a big deal. Like I said, it's, I'm not worried about security on this near as much as just the convenience to not have to mess with five gallon cans. So I can live with that right there, it's no problem. The other thing I could do is maybe put that nozzle down in this section, uh, just to not be, you know it's gonna drip diesel fuel and instead of having diesel fuel all over the top of this transfer tank. I can have it on this wood of this truck. But let's get this, uh, let's go take this on a road trip. What do you think? I just think it's just something special. <laughs> it's pretty neat, isn't it? It really is. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, I hate to put off that ledge. Right, yeah, that's, I see it's got at least a two inch drop there. Well, yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. I just what is this? It. This is a fuel trailer. Fuel trailer. A fuel trailer. Yeah, check it out. So instead of carrying five gallon cans, and especially instead of carrying a five gallon can six or seven feet in the air. <laughs> well, yeah. Jesus Christ, if you got all the money in the world. That wasn't even that much. Is that caffeine free? No, it's got oh, caffeine, it's sugar free. It's sugar free. had the camera up. Yeah. I will clean up my talk. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> Uh, this whole fuel trailer, we got less than a thousand dollars in. Just to fill up a can. Well, uh, you know how you call me all the time to go, hey, can you dump put fuel in my tractor? <laughs> well, I have taller stuff than you got. <laughs> no, I thought about that for a long time, and then I did it with the with the. Thing, but it got you want to be careful you don't get no water in it oh yeah yeah you want to be really careful about that well i'll still put the you know the diesel clean stuff or whatever it is and and stable in it when i buy just like i do with the gas cans okay i've seen people swear by you putting it in a tank and putting it in and i'm just the opposite I believe you put it in those tanks, you, they, they usually kill them like this, they got water in it, it mixes with it, it goes through your thing, where if you just use a five gallon can or this, mm -hmm. and you keep it, the water out of it, uh, you, I, I, I don't have no trouble with my tractors because I fill them with cans. Right, well this is just a, a 10 times the size can. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, it only holds 50 gallons. That holds 50 gallons? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Somebody, I guess it would. Yeah, somebody else. But we gotta we gotta tie it down with the uh, cargo straps, and then we're gonna go put some fuel in it and see if it works. Cause we haven't, you know, it's empty, so I don't know if it works yet. <laughs> well, I don't know. This is also the maiden voyage of it. <laughs> we just built this thing two days ago. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it came in a box. And then Maggie built all the wood uh, flooring and little spaces. So you had to design it though before you yeah, yeah. figure out what you wanted. Yeah. 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 I see it. It, it looks great. Are you going to put yeah. a lid on your battery or no? Don't need it one. It comes in a battery box thing like they sell for boats. Oh. I made it that size. So you just so set, set it in the right box in there. and set it right in there. Wow. All righty. So we've got it tied down. We'll go do our little maiden voyage on it.
Okay, so this is the ag diesel, which in Indiana here, it's got less taxes than road diesel, but it's dyed. You can see it's kind of reddish. And if they catch you with that in your truck going down the road, I've been told you go to prison. <laughs> All righty, so we're filled up and ready to roll. Okay, well, our little maiden voyage came out real well, and we'll switch this over to the ATV, which is how I plan to use it on the property here. Looks pretty nice, I think. the trigger we've got our power cable connected to the ATV's battery let's fire it up let's see if we're pumping oh yeah It's filling. So we'll let that go until it clicks off. Oops. Oh, is it full already? We'll see. Okay, so that is full. That's awesome. Tell you what, this hose is stiff. It's like working with an anaconda here. But it's got a nice little place to set the nozzle in. And then I tell you what, I might just put my hose in the back of this. Okay, and that worked really well for that tractor, which isn't that tall, and I can still use cans with it pretty easily. But, I'm 6'2", and here's the fuel tank on this tractor. So, let's throw a little fuel in it. So check this out. It has plenty of hose to get up into there. take two hands to set that trigger okay so turn that on come back over here turn our pump on and we're putting gas in the international 1086 without having to lift cans up in the air Okay, that leak, look at this, this hose basically just loosened up. I think it's just because it's so stiff when I move this around, it spun the hose here, so you have to be careful of that. But I tightened that back up just by spinning the hose. So I'll bet it doesn't leak now. And we'll put our cap back on our International 1086. Okay, so here it is all back in storage, and we'll shut the lid. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, well, that's our video of the Vivor fuel transfer tank, as well as the Harbor Freight utility trailer that we turned into an off-road fuel wagon. So, hope you liked the video. If you did, drop a like. We'd appreciate it. We love your comments. See what you guys think about this, and we'd love to have you subscribe to see more. Have a great day and be safe.